Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about exporting animations. So we already went over the creation and use of scenes. You guys may remember that uh, we, we moved around a model, we created scenes and jumped to them. Animations are basically just an automated export of the camera moving through those scenes. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and jump back to that, watch that, then come here and we'll talk about how to export as an animation. Let's do it. Okay, so I have this simple model and I've already created four scenes. We already talked about creating scenes, so I'm not gonna go into it again. So just to run through the scenes I have, I have this scene one where we're back here. Scene two kind of zooms me in and I go peeking on Sumele. Hi, Sumele. And then scene three moves the camera up to the top of the cylinder. And then scene four swings us around to look at these bricks on the back. Okay, so there's my scenes. So when I'm not worrying about exporting, I can jump anywhere between the scenes. If I want to jump back to the, the scene with Sumele, I can go back there to scene two. Uh, I could jump to the from there back to the front or back to that last one. I can jump around any direction. When I play an animation, though, it's always going to go in order. One, two, three, four. Always. Straight through. That's it. Um, which is fine. It's good to know that. You can, if you want, remove scenes from the animation though. So you do have some control. If I go ahead and expand out my scenes tab here, the scenes tab is available on Windows in the default tab bar. In Mac, you can turn it on or off by going to Windows and making sure scenes is turned on. So down here, the one, the, the option I want to look at right here is include in animation. Let's say as we were buzzing through here, I want to start pulled out like this, zoom in to see Sumele, and then I just want to jump around the back and look at the blocks. I don't want to jump up on top of the cylinder. What I can do is grab that scene three, and I can say, turn off, include in animation. So you know right away if a scene is not included in animation because the name is inside these parentheses. So right now, if I was to play this, it would go scene one, scene two, and then jump immediately to scene four. It won't include that. So that's one of the things you can do over here when you're looking at those options, is tell it which scenes to include in the animation. The other thing to look at, if I go to view, animation, and click on settings, this is actually a shortcut. It, it pulls up um, your model info and jumps right to the animation presets. It's the same as going into window model info and then clicking on the first tab, which is animation. It's just a one click less potentially. All right, so in here, this is where we control when I move from one scene to the other, how long does it last? So moving from scene one to scene two is gonna take two seconds. Then it's gonna sit for one second and then it's gonna take two seconds to go from scene two to scene four and where it will sit for two seconds and or for one second and then end. So these are the presets for the actual animation that's exported. Now, these are global. You cannot tell it, well, when I go from one to two, I wanna take four seconds, but two to four, I wanna take seven seconds. It is one option. So the exporting animations is very basic, very simple. So how do I export this video? I go to file export animation. All that's going to do then is pop up and ask you, okay, let's, let's export this animation. What do you want to export it as? So in here, I have some different options I can export as. To get the full movie exported, I want to export as an MP4. You see there that there are options in here, JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. This will export a series of individual images. So on that 30 or on that two seconds of moving from scene one to scene two, it's going to create a number of slides basically. And each of those will be exported as an image. Then I can pull these together into a video editor or something like that, make it into a GIF or whatever I want there. Um, I do have some options. If I click options right here, what's the resolution I want to export at? Um, I'm just exporting my screen full size, uh, but I can custom, I can go in there and put in a specific aspect ratio, width, height, that sort of thing. I can actually uh, scale the lines. This is kind of nice because you can actually make the lines thicker or thinner by setting a multiplier in there. Then I can set the frame rate, options to loop, 
anti-aliasing, all this stuff is going to affect not the animation I see on my screen, but the animation that is exported. A big thing here is this frames per second. Um, this will directly affect the size of the video you create, obviously, but also the number of images that are exported if you export images rather than an MP4. Once that's all set, I just click export, and what it will do is it will sit there and it will chug through, create these this uh, video file or image series, one image at a time. And again, all that's going to do when you do that is go through any of your scenes that are included in the animation, honoring the animation settings that you have set globally. Now, there are there, there, there kind of is another way to export an animation from SketchUp. Um, it's kind of cheating, but it's something a lot of people do. We've talked about the walkthrough tools and the set camera tools um, where you can actually go in and you can move through the, the model. Remember, we were walking on the ground, walking between the shapes. One thing that some people do do is they do a screen recording while moving through like that. And take that a step further, some people get themselves a 3D mouse, a piece of hardware that allow, acts like, kind of like a joystick to move through your space and use that and use some sort of screen recording software. That's an option too. Internally, we use a lot of OBS. OBS is open broadcasting software. It is free to use. We use it for all of our screen recording software, so that's worth checking out. There's a handful of softwares that you can get for cheaper for free to record GIFs or short videos. Um, something you may want to look into if you want to go a little bit further, we used to use a lot of Camtasia from TechSmith. It is a, a screen capture software that also includes basic video e editing tools. Um, anything like that, anything that will copy your screen to a video can be used. And what you do then is just move through the model how you want and hit record beforehand to get your own custom animation if the animation using scenes isn't what you want to create. So there's options. Hopefully you liked that video. If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you ever made custom animations inside SketchUp? What do you think about scene animation? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.